Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video, we're talking through my perfect add-on and extension management setup. So I have a problem, and that is that I use a lot of add-ons in Blender. And why wouldn't I? It's kind of what makes Blender fantastic that so many people can use this open source software to give you exactly the tools that you want. But it does mean if I hit N and open up my M panel, I have a lot of add-ons here. Like if I keep scrolling down, there is a lot. And I've actually customized these so that when I hit tools, I've actually got a lot of different tools in here. For example, like my VDM brush baker or simple line and things like that. And generate has loads of them in there because I've got lots of different things for generating new objects like bag of pie and stuff like that. And this makes finding a specific add-on annoying. Now, I generally try to use shortcut keys, but still, there's a lot of times where you need that M panel to do things effectively. Now what we're going to have a look at today is what I consider my perfect setup that I started using about a month ago I think now. And it's a combination of two add-ons and collectively this is going to cost you less than, well, like the cost of a Starbucks coffee. In fact considerably less than a Starbucks coffee. So I think it's worth it just for saving your time. So the main add-on that we're going to be using for this and the one that has a cost is called Cool Add-ons Menu and it's by Keto Studio. It's $2.99, so really cheap, and it's just going to make life a lot easier and a more pleasant place. There is a link to this in the description. It is an affiliate link, so it costs you nothing extra, but a little bit of money goes to the channel. But feel free to look this up yourself if you want all of the money to go to Keto, and I totally understand that he's not getting a lot out of a $2.99 purchase. So back to Blender, and here's my long list of external add-ons, not even the ones that are included as extensions on Blender. And all we do is just drag this in, always install your add-ons this way, it makes sure it goes to the right place. Click OK, and you'll see we get this like power cable. I don't know why a power cable, but anyway. And what it does if we click it, is it brings up, well, all of my add-ons. Well, why is this better than just using the M panel then? Well, first of all, at the top, it shows your five most recently used add-ons. You won't have this at first until you start using them after you've installed this add-on, but I'd installed it previously, as I'd mentioned. So anything you use a lot will likely be up there. Next, it has all of your other add-ons and they're in alphabetical order, making them vastly easier to find than the standard end panel setup, which has well, whatever the hell order it seems to want, though we can change this order, I'll talk about that in a second. And the way this works is if you come to something you want to use, let's say 3D Print Toolbox, it's the one at the top, you just click it and it automatically brings the end panel to that add-on. So let's do another one. I could come straight into, I don't know, uh, Curves to Mesh. There we go, I've put that in the Generate tab, so we've got Curves to Mesh. So this makes finding things really quick and simple. The other thing, and I think this is probably the most important aspect of it, is that you don't need to worry about the fact that this is an alphabetical order, and even though this makes it easier to see multiple of the add-ons, because they're all horizontal instead of vertical, we can just go to the add-on finder and type it in. So say I wanted Hard Ops, Let's just search for that, and there we go, there's Hard Ops, click it, and we come to the Hard Ops panel. So for me, this is just absolutely awesome. The other thing it does, which is really nice for saving some time, is that if we want to edit one of these add-ons, if we just click this Settings button, it automatically opens up the Edit, Preferences, and then Add-ons, and then brings you to that add-on so you can change anything about it and customize it as you want. For example, here I have my ball tool automatically set to be manifold. And again, this is just a really nice time-saving quality of life difference. Now, the other thing about this, and this is where the second add-on I'm going to mention comes in, is that we can also click Sort by End Panel Tabs. So if I click that, you can see that I've now got all of my tabs, again in alphabetical order, and they tell you in brackets how many add-ons you have as part of that category. So for example, in 3D printing, I have 3D printing toolbox, which is included with Blender, but I also have this STL exporter. Now the important bit of this is, well, how do I set this up so that I can create a tab that's general and put in exactly the add-ons that I want? And for that, you're gonna want a free add-on called Simple Tabs by Chip Walter. Now this is available on Gumroad, if you just scroll down, you can put in zero as the cost, but again, the other add-on's only $2.99. Maybe put something in here just to give a bit of money to the creator to say thanks for their work and the time they've put into this. And again, even if you do that, you're still probably ending up at the cost of less than the Starbucks. 
Now what this add-on does is it gives you all of your add-ons and extensions and allows you to pick a tab that you want it to go into. For example, I already had a generate tab, but I've now put bag of pie, curves to mesh and various other things into that specific tab. I have got a separate video on that. Again, there'll be a link in the description. So do feel free to check that out. But as I say, in combination, I think these two are pretty much perfect. Now there is a slight limitation to this setup and it's one I just want to mention so you're aware that it's there. I'm not sure there's a way to do anything about this, but let's say we come to our generate and we want to go to trail print 3D. I did a video on this recently. Now, if I click on trail print 3D and this brings us to our generate tab, which I created using simple tabs and they put this in a tab that just has create as its title because it used to be in its own tab here and then I moved it into this generate one. So yeah, that's slightly annoying. You'll notice a lot of other modifiers don't have this issue because they've kind of considered that they want to have the name at the top. For example, curves to mesh, bag of pie and things like that have no issue with that. But it is just something to bear in mind if you come to look at this and go, oh, where is my add-on? I can't see it. Well, it's because we've renamed the tab that it's on and the add-on itself doesn't have a sensible naming convention for its own tabs. If there was a solution to that, then that would be the third thing that I would add to this overall setup. And that would make this absolutely perfect as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, hopefully that's going to save you some time managing and using your add-ons. And even if you don't have a lot of external add-ons, just using it to manage your internal extensions, for example, like ball tool or loop tools or the 3D printing toolbox is just really handy. And again, well worth that under $3 cost. As always, if you found this video worthy of it, please hit that like button. And if you really want to help out, you could put a comment in the comments section as that helps grease the wheels of YouTube's algorithm. There's links to everything mentioned in the description and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.